okay we will try to create a head by using a model from sketchfab first you go to sketchfab and then you can search for head look for a free model where we can download it for free so i choose this one which head and then if it's free you can click the download 3d model okay i take the fpx file download okay once you have downloaded the model you have to extract the file so the file will come with sources under the sources there is an fbx file okay so we are going to import this you can drag and drop this to resources okay so let me remove my head first let me delete my object here originally uh, assuming that i haven't completed the project the first step is you have to drag and drop the fbx file to the resources so this one magic head you drag and drop it to here okay then click import Okay, next you will need a heat binding effect. So here you click uh, plus and then paste effect and then choose a heat binding. Okay, we will bind the head to the head. All you have to do is find the magic head object. If you expand the magic head object, it will have meshes, material. You look for this one, P. Drag and drop it to the head binding zero. Okay. Uh, now the head is already binded, but sometimes you don't see the 3D model because the size is small. So we around with the properties of the magic head so if you look at the properties currently the scale is one select the magic head yeah magic head then try to make it larger maybe i put 10 here the inspector you put 10 and then there you see some changes here okay and then another 10 for the z exists Okay, so if the size is too big, uh, now I have to push it up. So the Y coordinate, maybe we have to increase the value. Let's do 6. Okay, now if it's too large, you have to resize it a bit. Okay, okay. just play around with the value until you are satisfied. Uh, yeah. all right now you need to change the material you can use the original material or you can specify a new material so the material is not imported correctly here add uh, you can check the material here under head yeah currently the material is something which is brown okay so if you don't like the current material all you have to do is we can add a new material and import the material from the original file so i create a simple pbr okay it's listed here then you can rename this for example uh, add number two can put any name and then the base texture you can after you selected the material you pick base texture here base texture and you can take uh, the original 
material from the 3D file. So here in the 3D FBX file, usually it comes with texture and there are sometimes more than one files. So I use this one. And then you click import, open, okay, and then OK. Now we will assign this new material to the head. Okay, so if you check the head now, here, uh, okay, you need to do it for every mesh. Okay, the first one is P this one. Okay, so change this to the new material, head number two. Okay, you proceed to the next one, I. The I low two, head low two until the end. Okay, so head low two, I, if you change it to the new material, stuff low. All right, then it will look something like this. Okay, so if you don't like the material given by the designer, you can always go to asset library and then search for material. And maybe you can try one of these. Crystal material. Okay, uh, the crystal material will appear in your uh, resources here and you can actually assign it to one of the component of the head let's see uh, scarf low I change to crystal okay then you change the project info uh, click the give it a name which had then at the preview <coughs> and then make it more interesting maybe we should change the icon as well yeah i change the icon <coughs> and then apply and then once you are done, you can publish the lens. Okay, complete the steps to publish. Submit new lens and then and then have Okay, submit lens and then we are done.